Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a 1 in a million battle. It's a doubles battle that I got through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I, I mean, you can almost never find a doubles battle in, through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. That's not VGC 2012. Um, I, this guy must have been, you know, asking for a battle, and he must have been asking for you doubles based on his team, and I was like, yes, absolutely! It was just like a 1 in a million shot, and hey, look, he's got a lantern on his team that's named Angler. I, I mean, I don't know if that's, you know, named for me. Probably isn't, but it's still kind of cool. Anyway, um, his Lantern goes with Discharge, knowing that it's not going to hit Quagsire. Uh, Lantern Quagsire is a decent combo, especially if Lantern somehow has uh, uh, Air Balloon. I guess actually a better combo in that case. Well, no, actually, no, it's a good combo because uh, if Lantern has Surf and uh, that guy has Water Absorb. So anyway, uh, Brain gets fully paralyzed, or not fully paralyzed, gets paralyzed, which is really okay because it's a Trick Room setter upper, so fine by me. I go for the power whip against his Quagsire. Uh, 4x effective, one hit KO, no problem whatsoever. So Quagsire is down, and I'm gonna manage to get my Trick Room up. So, at this point, I'm feeling pretty happy, although looking at his team, he's got that Bronze on. I was actually really concerned that he was actually running a Trick Room team of his own, although I don't know, I've never really seen Kling Clang do very well. I think it's actually fairly speedy, and you know, Minan is fairly speedy. Anyway, here he does- oh yes! Brilliant strategy here. He uses skill swap so that um, Lantern is in the air. That's a great move for him. Angler's gonna go ahead and go for an Ice Beam. So this actually reminds me a lot of my uh, old Jane team from PBR uh, where I had, I guess it was, oh geez, who was it? It was Soul Rock coupled with Lantern and they would uh, skill swap so that Lantern could be in the air and the other one could have Volt Absorb. Anyway, switch out here into my Tachikoma, um, because, you know, Brain doesn't really need to be in there any longer. Uh, anyway, great move here, considering that his Bronzong goes for the Earthquake. Uh, Rotom is in the air with Levitate, so that's great. Kazulu's not going to care about that hit whatsoever. Go for a Power Whip here, it actually hits again. This is really good uh, luck for me, and his Angler is going to be easily taken out. Again, you know, super effective. It would kind of have been, have been hard for it not to take him out. So yeah, uh, down goes uh, Lantern. Now out is going to come Plessel. Now, I guess it is probably a Helping Hand set. Indeed, he is using Helping Hand, uh, which now I've got to be worried about how much an Earthquake is going to do. Actually, he goes for the Gyro Ball. Um, and luckily, you know, I'm, I'm not running a minus speed nature, and I don't think I have the... Uh, speed lowering item on my lantern. I'm not sure why I didn't just go for the earthquake here uh, with my Kazulu because both of them are on the ground. I think actually this Kazulu might not run earthquake. That, yeah, I'm almost certainly that doesn't run earthquake. I'm completing my uh, my Tangrowth because I have another Kazulu that's on a singles team that does have earthquake. So anyway, um, go for the blizzard and unfortunately I get the freeze hacks. I really didn't need the freeze hacks. I mean, I've been doing pretty well in this battle, but you know now his cowbell is going to be completely frozen, and until it thaws, it's going to be completely useless. So now, out for my opponent is going to come Weavile. Uh, should be a little bit concerned here. Uh, I figure Tangrowth is basically dead. His cowbell actually falls out, which just it seems like this is happening more and more. Uh, you know, more often than not, rather, it seems like people get first turn thaws, even though the odds of that happening should be really, really low. But eh, who knows how the game works. Anyway, I go for a Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice, I'd forgotten it was Hidden Power Ice. I get a crit uh, for all the good it does. Uh, Tachikoma goes for the Discharge. I, of course, forgot about uh, Volt Absorb. That was really stupid of me. Um, but I was just trying to hit his Weavile for a good amount of damage. Um, Kazulu is going to get taken out, so the only Pokemon that's KO'd is my own. Um, but his Weavile is going to do, get a hell of a lot of damage dealt to it. Um, and yeah, so anyway, his, uh, he goes for the Ice Punch, I resist it, not really having anything to fear. Um, I survive on 19, which is great, that's just absolutely great. Uh, although, I mean, his Cowbell should probably be- oh, his Cowbell would be able to take me out the next turn, except for the fact that the, uh, the Trick Room ended. So anyway, I send out, uh, my, uh, Hatterack here, his, uh, he goes for the Low Kick, I was really expecting him to just take out my Rotom, but instead he decides to try to take out my Hatterack, um, but, doesn't is not going to be able to, and now my Tachikoma actually goes for the pain split. Uh, just you know, why not go for broke? And it's going to be the attack of mine that's going to do the most damage. Well, I guess discharge. No, right? He's got Volt Absorb. I forgot again. Um, 
here is Cowbell goes for Rock Slide. It's non stab. I'm not thinking he's going to KO me. The worst he'll get is a flinch against Hatterack. Um, he's not going to get that flinch, so I'm going to be able to pull off the Earthquake. Tachikoma is in the air. Doesn't matter for my side, but both of his Pokemon are grounded, and that is going to be excellent. And I'm going to take out his. Um, I'm actually not going to take out his. Uh, his Bronzong. I was actually a little bit surprised there, considering it is stab and super effective. But, you know, Bronzongs are pretty damn bulky. So, yeah. He's down to his last two Pokemon. They're both Steel types. Uh, he would have to somehow take out my Steelix uh, on this turn in order to survive, and I just don't see it happening. Uh, I take that Hidden Power, whatever it was, quite well. I think he said he thought it was a different Hidden Power. Um, here I go for another Pain Split, uh, which, you know, it's going to rack up a lot of damage, and it's going to, well, it's going to rack up a decent amount of damage, and it's going to restore Tachikoma back up to a really high health uh, number. So his only chance here is to get the Flinch Hacks, and I just, I'm hoping he doesn't get it. Indeed, he doesn't. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be able to take out his Cowbell at that range, and as for his Clink Clang, Clink Clangs aren't necessarily the bulkiest Pokemon, and I'm not at all surprised that I took it out. So, that is the game. Uh, oh, I got a, I got a crit against Cowbell, so yeah, that, that may or may not have mattered. I'd have to look at it. Anyway, yeah, so that's the end of the battle. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long!